Praise the Lord. Today's word of the day comes from 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 40. 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 40. Then he took his staff in his hand, and he chose for himself five smooth stones from the brook and put them in a shepherd's bag, in a pouch which he had. And his sling was in his hand, and he drew near to the Philistines. Amen. Praise the Lord. This is um, obviously David when Goliath is threatening the people of Israel, the children of God. Uh, Goliath is challenging uh, that somebody would go out there and fight him, and um, and whoever wins would make the others their slaves. And of course, all the warriors of Israel were shaking and scared, and here comes this teenager, probably a young boy, and he, even the king, when he finally lets him do it, tries to give him his armor and all that, and he he couldn't do it. He put, dropped it all. It wasn't tested. Instead, he went to this brook, and he took chose for himself five smooth stones, and he put them in a shepherd's bag, and that's really significant there, um, and then he went and drew near to the Philistine, and so we know that David is also, many of the characters in the Old Testament are types. They're a typology of Christ himself. And so if we look at this story, and of course we know he won, that all the giant had and the armor and the big sword and all that had nothing compared to the faith that David had and took down that giant and changed everything. And of course he became king ultimately. And so if he's a type of Christ and we look at that, we know that we face an, our, an enemy in this world that in our own strength, we have no, no chance to defeat the, the Satan and his minions. You know, they, the, we cannot fight on our own strength. We, that's why we end up in bondage. That's all, all of that is because we're powerless to these forces on our own. But here we see a type of Jesus getting these five smooth stones. Where we, now, we know five is grace, and so we know that obviously it was the grace of God that allowed David to take out Goliath. But what about, how does this apply to us today? If, if David is representing Jesus, and he goes and he selects five smooth stones from a book, what would that mean for us today? Well, if that's Jesus, and he's going to fight the enemy, he's going to use his church. In Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11, he himself gave some to be apostles, one, prophets, two, evangelists, three, pastors, four, and teachers, five. Five stones to take down the enemy. And so we know that he selected, there's a lot of stones there, but he selected the ones that were smooth. And how does a stone become smooth? It doesn't come out of the ground smooth like and, and it wasn't naturally formed that way. As we know, when a, when a stone is going through rolling in water, whether it's by the ocean or in a river, by a brook, it's got to continue to be banged around like uh, from one stone to the other, and all the edges get rubbed off until they're smooth. They've been rolling and rolling through a whole lot of bouncing and, and crashing and all kinds of things like that. And the truth is that whether it's these five-fold ministry here or any whatever ministry that God has for each and every one of us. He's going to allow us and prepare us by go, allowing us to go through many bumps and, and friction and all these things. And when he's finished, we'll become a smooth stone that he will take and put in his bag and he'll come and face the enemy. And because he's done that work in us and our faith in him is strong, he will use us as the smooth stones to take it down this giant of the devil himself, and he will have victory, and his throne will remain forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord for that. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this wonderful example of what you're doing. Everything in your old in the Old Testament has meaning, Lord. There is nothing that's just there by accident. And we thank you for showing us that everything we're going through. It's all purposeful 
to cause us to become those smooth stones that you're going to use to take down the giant of giants, that you're going to use to, to fight back all the works of darkness, to bring your light into this world, to bring many souls to you, to win a harvest of billions. And that, Lord, is what you're doing. So we ask you to no, don't leave any sharp edges on us, us stones. Get rid of all of it. Let us be smooth and ready to get in that bag so that you can use us to take out the enemy. That's our wish today, and we ask you to fulfill it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. That is our word of the day.